So today I'm going to try to work on getting the roost done. Um, we have this old leftover brooder board from the brooder, uh, the brooder box, leftover board. So I'm going to take that and cover it with some vinyl. Right now I'm just kind of getting the, the size that it is and uh, get these two by fours and put a crossbar in there. Put the, uh, the brooder board with the, the vinyl up a little bit and then we'll take two by fours from here and angle them up back to here, put boards across, so we'll have a poop board, and that'll be it. That's all we gotta do, so. Let's take a little bit to get the measurements right, but um, I think it's gonna work out real good. All right, so we got the food board elevated here. We got our roost. We went ahead and did two by fours like sideways, that way, because chickens like to lay their, their legs like this. So they can just kind of lay like this, and then they can also squat down on the two by four instead of a smaller round bar. They can squat down and keep their feet warm in the winter. Um, so it'll help keep them a little bit warmer. Uh, they will poop on the boards more than the other boards, but uh, we're probably gonna either paint this area um, to make it easier to clean, or I don't know. I don't know what Stacy has in mind, but she has some thoughts. So get the vinyl on the board, and I think we'll be done for this for now. And then we can start working on the doors. Uh, it's getting close to being being ready for moving those chickens in. Uh, it's good because they're getting really big. I got some old vinyl from my parents' uh, remodel in their kitchen. We're gonna attach that to the poop board with some caulking. Cut it to the right size. It's pretty close. Uh, needs a little more on the edges, but I think that's really good. It's probably good enough. So just cut that down and put it on there. And that'll be really easy to clean. It'll be really easy to wash off. A little helper getting the chicken waters. What's wrong? Is it heavy? Balls the house so we can water the chickens. Uh oh. Are we ever gonna get into the house? Hi. Take me to the house so we can get chickens water. So we got the poop board drying with the vinyl on top of it. We'll put it in there in a minute. Uh, right now we're gonna work on one of the doors here. We're gonna put some trim on it, make it look kind of nice. This will be the outside door uh, to exit the coop for the chickens. So we'll just make the door here. And then when they brought the wood to me, they brought these nifty boards. They have a little bevel cut in them already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach these boards to the back of the door and then put them in here and voila a sliding door so that's the plan and then I'll put a rope to that or something like that and put it to the side of the coop and then you can just pull the rope the door will come up tie the rope down it'll be good for that day 
to go out into the run. And then if they want to go out to the outside, we'll have to figure that out next. So anyway, that's what we're working on right now. All right, so the sliding door is done. Added a little plate to the bottom to catch it. Plate to the top to stop it. I'll soon add a rope in here. Right here. Slide it up and down. So, also add a base plate on top because this was a little wobbly and I don't want something to get behind the door. So a little base plate, just enough to close it off. That's how it works. So. Cut the hole in the wall, get the string on there and the pulley system, but we'll probably do that later. I might cut the hole in a little bit, but it looks good, works good, functions.